Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a pretty lengthy list of house projects. I am basically positive it's going to take at least two days, maybe three to get everything done, but just like always, it's definitely going to be worth it. <laughs> hi Benji, he came to say hi. So we recently found some things on Facebook Marketplace, so we are going to be like restoring some and like doing some furniture flips, things like that. And then we also have just some other various house projects to do around the house to continue making our Arizona home more of our style and just serve us better. So without further ado, let's get into it okay so the first thing on our list we are going to start working on this corner in our bedroom so originally we've just had our dog's dog bed right here and this little dog bed so nothing has felt like very intentional there but we are always or especially kyle is always reading i'm always like folding laundry in here and so we don't really have a great space to sit so we found a leather chair for $40 on Facebook Marketplace. Unfortunately, our cat's little scratching post got ruined and taken out, and so they did use the chair like yesterday. So that really stinks, but we're gonna do our best to restore it and kind of finish or kind of fix it up. And that is what's gonna go there, and then we're gonna create like a whole little sitting area. And then I also want to start working on this area because that bench is gonna move, the lamp's gonna move, and we're just gonna kind of do something different over there, and then we'll move into the rest of the house. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, and let's go check out that chair. So this is just some leather furniture conditioner I got from Walmart, no special brand, but it did have good reviews. And this is really my first time ever messing with leather. We do have leather couches in our living room, but those were purchased new, so I really haven't had to do much with them. But as you can see, this chair had been very loved, very used for a very long time, and it really just needed some help. But you guys will have to wait and see because once we are done with it, it seriously looks like a brand new chair. Maybe not brand new, but way, way, way better. And definitely incredible for the $40 that we spent on it. This is what it looks like after one coat of the conditioner. And then this is what it was before we did anything to it. So you can see like how much drier this looks and how much lighter it is. Still, some of these were from their cat and then some have been from our cats. We can always like drape a blanket or something, but it's looking so much better. So this is the ottoman I got and we did get this one new because I found a sale and because we saved so much on the chair. But to kind of modernize the chair a little bit, I'm actually going to be painting the bottom legs of the chair a matte black, the same spray paint that we always use. And so to tie this in and make this kind of match the same, we are going to take these legs off of the ottoman and then spray paint them as well. And then we'll just attach them once everything dries. Chair and a white are very interesting together. Yeah. Okay, but watch this. This isn't necessarily going to be like the absolute best 
match for this, but. Wow, that is it. <laughs> but seriously, it okay. kind of brings it together. I was being a little sarcastic, but yeah. It's a little different. I'm a little on the fence with the other one. Right. So quick tip, if you have mismatched furniture, try doing something to both pieces that brings them together and kind of unites them. This could be painting the legs to match like we're doing here. The options are endless, but when you pull things together through one similarity, it's amazing how they can both feel very intentional together. Next on the list, before we head outside, we are going to be adding one of the final touches to our theater room area, and that is going to be putting some curtains in here. So Kyle and I are just going to quickly measure what length we need to cut the curtain rods to, and then we will go cut those and paint everything outside. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long, took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me up. So to make our infamous DIY curtain rods on a budget, you are going to use three quarter inch conduit pipe that you can just find at Home Depot. Go ahead and cut it down to size. We prefer a 10 inch overhang on each side of the window, meaning that when we measure the window, we add 20 inches to that measurement. Then we spray paint the pipe matte black. Then later on, we will use a two inch wide leather strap, make a loop, cut it down to the desired length that we want our curtain rod to hang down from the ceiling. Then you just drill a screw into the top section of the leather while it's looped to make sure it goes through both pieces. And then last but not least, it's just adding the curtain rod and pushing the painted pipe through the leather loop. And voila, you have a super durable custom curtain rod that doesn't take much time and it's also really unique. So while we're waiting for everything to dry, Kyle and I are gonna grab some lunch because I don't even know what time it is. It is noon and we are starving. We haven't eaten anything today. I am super excited to be teaming up with Daily Harvest because we have been getting their yummy food since way back when we lived in our Utah home and everything we've ever ordered from them has been a hit in our house. So if you're unfamiliar with Daily Harvest, they offer ready to enjoy frozen food options delivered right to your door. And you get to customize your selection and have them delivered as often as you want. And stay tuned because they gave me a code to save you some cash if you're wanting to try them out too. But just like everyone, when we have busy days or weeks, these house projects are the perfect example of that. The easiest thing to do is to grab something quick and often it's takeout, which is very pricey and not good for you. Daily Harvest is perfect for those busy times because everything comes frozen, so it's ready for you when you need it. And they've made it super quick and easy to whip up one of their items. They have delicious smoothies that are pre-portioned, so you just add your liquid of choice, blend, pour back into the cup and enjoy. Or they have these Harvest Bakes that you just pop right into your oven and it's ready to enjoy in no time with basically zero prep and zero cleanup. 
Another favorite of ours is their overnight oats or their harvest bowls, and they have over a hundred gluten-free, dairy-free, and plant-based options to choose from. They also use ingredients that are listed right on the containers so you know exactly what you're putting into your body. We have just been such huge fans of them for years now, and I know you'll love them too. So if you want to try out Daily Harvest for yourself, use my link down below and coupon code CRAZYLIFE to save up to $40 off your first order. All right, I got the mint and cacao one, all-time favorite smoothie from them, and then I got Kyle the acai cherry. Oh, awesome, thank you. That's a new favorite. <laughs> cherry, blueberry, banana, raspberry, acai, and kale. That is super good. After things had some time to dry, we headed back outside to give these pieces a second and third coat of spray paint as needed. Then we continued on with creating our little bedroom reading nook. The hair dryer is only necessary if you're like me and a little bit impatient. So here I was just blow drying the legs to ensure that they were fully dry. Kyle told me that we could wait a little bit longer to make sure, but patience isn't my strong suit, especially when I'm working on a project. So we went this route and thankfully it worked out just fine. But you'll see in just a minute what a big difference painting the legs made. All right, now we have our chair mostly like for today. It's as good as it's gonna get. And our ottoman is painted. We have the side table that Felix is looking after for us. And then I think now we're gonna start kind of working on this area and bringing like the lamp over, maybe moving the bench and just getting our sitting area kind of situated. Here I was just trying out a throw blanket and pillow to kind of cozy the space up a little bit and also hopefully hide some of the cat scratches that were still there. But these were actually ones that we already had. So just like I always say, shop your house first. You will be amazed at what you don't need to run out and buy. Are 
favorite flowers. All right, we have a lot done in here. Our bedroom is not done. I've been saying this forever, but we still have plans to do like a big statement wall and possibly we'll see what happens. I might end up like DIYing this headboard and stuff just to kind of make it less modern farmhouse style, but we'll see. I don't want to do that until we get like kind of everything else done, but we do have this area done for now. Again, we will have a full makeover, but we do have a little dog bed coming and that will be here in a couple days so whenever that arrives we'll set that up and then I do want to kind of change this area out but for now it is what it is but I love 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 this little reading nook we use a lot of Facebook market stuff and just kind of fix it up and it looks amazing so next in this room or last in this room we're just going to put up some curtains finally and then we will move on to the rest of the house It's kind of different, but I don't think that it matters. I tell you every day, you're so sweet when you talk, and as pretty as a bouquet. And I promise I'll be nice. And I swear I'll treat you right. Well, come on, sit next to me. So like most of the curtains in our home, these are for decoration only because we have functioning blinds that we open and close as needed. Now years ago, I used to not be a fan of curtains because I felt like they kind of dated areas. I definitely felt like if they weren't needed for function, then what was the point? But you can actually find very modern ways to hang curtains. And even if you don't need them to cover your windows, if you pull them all the way up to the ceiling, like we're doing here, and then stretch them out almost a foot past either side of the window, it will actually give the illusion of your room being taller and the window being bigger than it actually is. So at this point in my life, I put up curtains on just about every window that I can, and it always enhances the space. Another benefit to adding curtains in our bedroom is actually to cover up this yellowed shade. Now we do use this for privacy, so we don't wanna remove it. And even though the color isn't very appealing, it's very expensive and out of budget to replace right now. So instead, it will be hiding behind the more modern and neutral curtains. next to me and I want to see my favorite color when I look into your eyes well, sometimes it's hard to see nice guys may finish last but they always get the good girls right So down in our bedroom, we have grayish walls. So I opted for white curtains to give a little more contrast, but up in our theater room, we have slightly off white walls. And so I wanted to add a little bit of color and a little bit more contrast. So in here, I actually went with some tan curtains and I really love the warmth and coziness that they added in. Plus they did just what I mentioned earlier. They made the ceiling feel higher and taller. And they also added in some gorgeous texture without making anything feel busy. If you feel like there is something missing from your home, a lot of times curtains can be just the thing that you didn't realize your space was missing.
All right, it is a new day. We ended up having to pick up the kids and just decided we couldn't get far enough on the rest of the projects that we would just do it all today. So behind me, I'll kind of pull this out and show you, but this is the piece we're gonna work on, like a dresser sideboard that we got on Facebook Marketplace. And I've been looking for something for nicer storage in our dining room area. And I didn't wanna pay for the gorgeous <laughs> sideboards that you can find. I just didn't like the prices of those. So I found this piece and right now it's not the best, but it has really good bones and it looks like really unique. So we are just going to pull it out, start sanding it down, and then we're gonna kind of like do a little furniture flip on that one. So let's go ahead and get started. Summer's gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body, you're so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud Didn't catch your name of My plans for this guy is to actually We're gonna sand the entire thing down We're gonna just kinda like scuff sand the outside And then the drawers we are going to fully sand them down Hopefully get away like all the stain and everything And then we'll either leave them like with their raw wood color Or we will stain them our own wood color I'm definitely gonna change out these like plastic handles but the outside of it will be end up getting painted black and then the inside the drawers are going to be a wood color. So I think it's gonna look really cool. Wish us luck. I have not done like a full on furniture flip in a really, really long time. Girl, you should wear a name tag. That's the only way that I get your name. Girl, you should wear a name tag. It's too important to be your name. People go insane when you walk by. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Now I will share my process for today's furniture flip, but keep in mind, I am not a professional flipper. I have flipped a lot of furniture in the past, but I've only done it to help our family get what we needed on a budget, and I haven't ever done it for resale in the past. And also, it's been a lot of years since I've done this, so I just wanted to put that out there. Don't be coming to me for professional advice. This is just, you know, furniture flipping by Amanda. But let me know in the comments if you ever flip furniture like this or if you've ever wanted to but just felt nervous and just kind of haven't taken that leap. It really isn't too hard and honestly, there are just so many options to try out. So if you haven't tried it, find a cheap piece of furniture or maybe even something that you own but don't love anymore and give it a shot. So Kyle just got back from the store because I was trying out the 100 grit. It worked a little bit, but I really think I need to get it a little bit more scuffed. And so we have now some 60, which is a more coarse sandpaper. So we're going to go ahead and sand along the whole outside. Hopefully we'll be able to paint after that. And then we'll start working on the drawers. Yes, I'm lost in the fun park now. I Leave a thrill I can imagine all I will You go on I know the drill now I've been getting 
For any furniture flip, always the most cost-effective way is to use things that you already have like paint and hardware, but that isn't always an option. Now in this case, I did have those options, so I am just using the black paint that I had on hand that we used in Noah's bedroom makeover, the one that was the Star Wars theme. I love how that room turned out, and I'll show you the knobs that we're going to use in just a minute, but those are actually leftover from the dresser that I used in my sister's budget boho makeover series. Now as far as painting this piece, I'm just going to be using a paintbrush for the inside corners and a foam roller to do the rest of it to avoid brush marks. And in order to get really good coverage, I'm going to do a few different coats. And also one thing I wanted to mention is this is a paint and primer in one, but one way or another, you always want to use a primer either on its own or mixed in with your paint. All right, we have one coat of black paint on this and I think it's looking really cool actually. It definitely will need at least one more coat and I'm going to just like fine sand it in between coats just so that it looks like a really, really perfectly smooth finish. And then Kyle's just still sanding away on the drawers. These flat ones are working really easy. And these ones, it's like because of this lip, we don't want to sand this smooth or anything. So we can, he can still use like the regular power sander on the outside pieces, but we're gonna have to hand sand these inside pieces. But it's looking really cool so far. My hand is so like tingly. <laughs> like an hour of sitting here going like this. I bet. It's just tingly. Yeah, the joys of DIY. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, I was basically done painting and Kyle is just going over all the drawers with a 220 grit sandpaper to smooth them out. And I'm just getting the very last bit of old stain sanded off the nooks and crannies of the drawers. All right, we are making so much progress. Kyle is finishing sanding like the final, yeah, that's 220 grit. This is 220, yeah, all these are done. I'm gonna do a final sand on this, just a really, like a 220 grit again, and then I'll go ahead and redo the final paint, and we should be good to go. Start like assembling. So I do still need to put a coat of poly on to help protect the paint, but that is something that I needed to run to the store for and we just didn't have time on this day. So that will just have to be a project for another day. But otherwise this project was coming to a wrap and I could not be happier with it. As for the drawers, this was my original hope was to keep them the natural wood color. But honestly, when you flip furniture like this, you just never know if that's going to be possible until you start sanding. But I did have a backup plan. If we couldn't have done this, we would have added our own stain. And I also had a backup to that backup plan. And if that didn't work, then we could have just went ahead and painted the doors as well. I just would have done them in a two-tone, like done them a different color as the black. But let me know in the comments what you think.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I love, 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 love how it turned out. It's so cool. I do want to put a coat of poly on it, but we don't have any of the house, so I will just do that later. The finish turned out so cool, and we decided not to stain the drawers just because the natural look just looks really nice like up against the black anyway i just love how it turned out so now it's all dry we are going to go ahead bring this inside and in the kitchen area we don't have a ton to do but we did get a new rug to go in the dining room area we've never had a rug under the dining room area but i got like an outdoor rug so it should be easy to clean we'll see how it goes but fingers crossed it works good and then i also have a clock that i want to put up in the kitchen so between those three things i think that's going to wrap up our house projects but you guys will have to let me know what you think of this and also let me know do you guys like the raw wood look right there or do you think we should stain it kind of like the same color that we did for the boys' bedroom makeovers and things like that. Just let me know your thoughts, but I don't know. Right now, I think I'm loving this. I used to be a free man Did whatever I did please But ever since she wandered in that I've been living down on my knees I said, come on Adding a clock in the kitchen has been on our list for a very long time. We had one in our Utah house in the kitchen there and I really loved that, but we just couldn't find one that we loved that was also in budget. This one was from Amazon and we really loved the simplicity of it. And we also wanted one with numbers versus Roman numerals so the boys could read it easily. And then when I saw the tiny touch of gold on the hands, I just knew it was perfect. Here, Kyle is just using a hand steamer to smooth out the rug. Now, there's a few ways that we've found over the years to help rugs smooth out, and this is one that Kyle found out during my sister's makeover series, but it works super, super well. And I briefly mentioned this, but this is actually an outdoor area rug, and the reason I wanted to do that is because outdoor rugs are very forgiving. They're not made of the same material as like indoor rugs. They're definitely not a shag rug at all. And I wanted something that was going to be easy to vacuum and easy to like really deep clean because it is going to be in a high traffic area underneath the dining table. This right here is our smart garden. We got this back in the spring and we just ordered some new pods for it. So here we are just planting some mixed greens to grow our own lettuce at home. I cannot wait until they start sprouting, but I love finding different ways to be a little bit more self-sufficient, even if it's just a few small things like this.
All right, you guys, everything really came together at the end and I could not be happier with each of the projects. And this dining room doesn't even look like the same area at all. From the custom looking Facebook marketplace flip, to the new addition of the area rug. It just all came together to make it feel so high end and you would never guess that we did it all without breaking the bank. Also, just a quick reminder to check out Daily Harvest and use my coupon code CRAZYLIFE to save up to 40% off your first box. And if you order from them, do yourself a favor and get that mint and cacao smoothie. It is so good. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite house project from today? And if you wanna see what else we have done in our Arizona home since moving in, click on this playlist on the right side of the screen and it will take you through it all. As always, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not already and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye guys!